So here we go, interview time for Backstage Access. I'm going to read the questions out and then answer them. It's fucking what you do. So, first one. Ashley, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Um, Just at home today. Bit of a rest day, got um, real bad ear pain, so I might have to go to the doctors a bit later on and sort that, but apart from that, I'm good. Second one, congrats on the new album, Kingdom United. Would you tell us something about it? Well, geez, two years, nearly three years in the making. Um, Something I'm really proud of, and it's, you know, it's taken a long time, but it was amazing. Also, it's good to work with Gaz. Um, We always work really well together. And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. uh, If you've not heard it yet, fire over to Spotify and uh, have a good listen. I think we did, like, in total, there was, like, 30 tracks on the the album at first, but then we had to whittle it down, get it down to 12 or 13. I can't remember how many. 12 or 13 tracks. Uh, But, yeah, it's good. Check it out. Third one. How did you decide to collaborate with Gaz? Well... Me and Gaz have been friends for a while and when we were speaking like two or three years ago we were both started to do new albums and um, I haven't done an album since my first album, The End of Me and we were just having a drink and then we thought, how about we do uh, an album together and he was like, yeah that could be cool and then we started just firing tracks backwards and forwards, what we've been working on and then we realised, wow this could be really cool so there you go. Um, what do you think about the direction trance music is taking? Um, yeah, I think it's I think it's going in a good direction. I think you know side trance is quite big at the moment, um, but you know there's only so much a new genre can go before it bubble bursts. I think, but at the moment trance it's it's always evolving, uh, especially at different places around the world, China. Um, it's getting bigger and bigger. America, it's always massive, but uh, trance in general, I think it's in the right right position, especially because of Armin. You know, Armin's all, always um, he's he's like the king of trance. So as long as he's smashing it out, then we're all in a good place. Uh, what is the message you would like to spread with the new album? Um, I think me and Gaz, when we set out to do the album, we aren't. You know, we we've always done music that we love and we play out. Uh, We've never done music to think, oh, let's do it because these people will like it or because these people will like it. Um, We just want to spread the love of the music, what we enjoy and we love, and, you know, hopefully that captivates the mind of others and they feel our love for the music. So, so far, like, looking at the comments and everything, it looks like everybody's on the same page. Um, can you tell us some insights about the creative process of it? Well, fuck, it was it was long and hard, and a lot of drink was consumed during the album. Well, on my behalf, I don't know about Gaz, but it was me and Gaz both work on different uh, DAWs. I work on Logic. He works on uh, Crash Base. Well, sorry, Cubase, um, and. We generally will get ideas, we'll throw them backwards and forwards over the internet. And, and one good thing about me and Gaz, when, when we do do tunes, we've never uh, argued. We're, we're always in the same kind of um, you know musical place, and we're like a mirror. So I'll send him something, he'll come back, oh, I love that, but I'll add this to it. He'll send me something, and I'll, I'll be like, oh, yeah, that's really cool, let me do this to it. And usually for each of the tracks, um, we just get like a little bit of a demo and then we'll get the skeleton of the track done. So it's just the bare bones. Um, and then once that's done, we'll put it aside. And then we got like, you know, a good 15 to 20 tracks like that. So they're all sounding okay. And then we just spent like a couple of months hard grafting to get them sounding, you know, really cool. But um, long process and I'm not... Uh, in any rush to uh, do another album anytime soon. Um, what's been the most exciting part of making the album? The whole thing's been exciting, to be honest. Um, 
collaborating with different artists uh, has always been good but you know it got to a point with in the album where we thought well this is you know it got pushed back the release dates got pushed back like three times it took us so long to come up with the album name even though it's you know it's so simple kingdom united but you know you just don't think about it um the whole thing was exciting there wasn't anything specifically which was just you know you know like massively exciting but i think the start actually saying well, we're going to do an Ashley Warburg and Gareth Emery album was pretty was pretty um, exciting, and then the best part was finishing it, and then finally seeing the actual CD. It was like wow, we we've you know it's finally real, it's out there. Um, and the most challenging tune, phew, the first track was Kalal. Uh, which for people what don't know what Kalal is, it's uh, Superman's real name. I'm like a massive Superman fan. That was a hard track to do. That took like nearly three or four months to make. Um, I'm a massive Hans Zimmer fan, and even though I can't get up to even remotely close to his standard, um, that I wanted to try and get something which was cinematic from the start. Um, and if you notice on my first album, The Enemy, I tried to do that, but my production sucked back then, so it wasn't that good. But I wanted to do something where as soon as the album like starts from the get-go, it's cinematic, musical, and you know, it's like this is what's this is where it's gonna take you. It's gonna take you on a journey. But doing that track, it was it was you know, like I said, three, four months and when I listened to the final article, I was like, wow, that's my favourite track of the album. Um, pick a dream collaboration. Eric Prids or Hans Zimmer. I love Eric Prids. Um, he, he's the reason why I got into music, really. He's like my main um, inspiration uh, for dance music. But then there's Hans Zimmer. I mean, pff, he, he is unbelievable. And I've been seen before and it was emotional. But then I came back in the studio buzzing my tits off like, oh yeah, I'm going to make something like this, even though I can't because he's, he's insanely talented. But I'd say Eric Prids or Hans Zimmer, or both, you know, let's get a three-way on the go. Three-way. Um, what is the one track that never gets old for you no matter how many times you play it? Um, I mean, from my sets and for from a track from like my own library i'd say surrender uh, even though you know it's only like a year and a half old like i'd, I'd play surrender or wow that's that's a really hard one um i'd say one track what i played for the last like four years nearly every single set is my remix of gareth emery's track called arrival um, I'll try and slam that in, and every time everybody hears just that little riff, um, they go mental. Um, so yeah, arrival. Uh, your favorite three artists in the scene right now? Um, favorite Armin because he's just an ambassador, ambassador of trance, and I see how hard he works, and I've been on tour with him before, and he's an absolute machine. He's incredible. Uh, another one I'd say Nash um, is. A new boy on the scene who we've signed to Garuda and he's insanely talented. Um, amazing ear for music. He's got some real good tracks coming out. Uh, he's got a remix of one of my tracks called Sur uh, The Surrender Remix. Um, he's got another collaboration with me and Gareth, which isn't on the album. Um, another artist on... Uh, I don't really know. Examines is good. Uh, Solace and Sean Truby. Alex Sonata, all these guys who we signed to the label, they're all really good. What does Garuda mean to you? Uh, well, for you. Um, being, sorry, mute phone, sorry. Um, what does Garuda mean for you? I think, oh God, sorry. <laughs> what does Garuda mean for you? I mean, being a label owner now, it's, I, I didn't realise how much hard work goes into it. But, you know, we always want to try and put out the best trance um, and progressive. And we'll sign anything, really, what me and Gaz will play. We we don't 
generally say it's got to be trance, it's got to be progressive. Even though it is a trance and progressive label, if it's something what me and Gaz will slam out, then we'll sign it. At the end of the day, good music is good music, and we get, you know, 150, 200 demos a week, and me and the label manager, Stephen, will, will sit down once a week and go through every single one, um, send feedback to try and get them better, but yeah, that's it really. As long as me, Gaz, will play it out, send it over. Say something to backstage access. Readers and viewers, yo, I hope you enjoyed the interview, quick talking, and um, yeah, thanks for the opportunity, it's always good to do uh, an interview, especially like this, instead of just, you know, writing an email, um, they're a bit, you know, done for the past, so, amazing, check out the album if you haven't uh, listened yet, and uh, I've got some unreal tunes coming up, I've got a new one with um, Clara called Diamonds, which is uh, pretty epic and uh, more stuff in the works. Plus a new CV and T5. So we are bringing the cunt CV and T5 back. So uh, more new soon. Yes. Thanks, guys. Hope you have a good weekend, weekend and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Take it easy. Ciao.